Uh, hello everybody, Ian Ops here. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're taking a look at some of the new trailers that were just released today. Uh, these are the ones that I've been excited about at least. So you have a couple new options here. And one of the new options is a grain hopper trailer. Another one is the bulk feed trailer. And I don't think there's any other ones I can think of off the top of my head. I think that's all of them, yeah. So those are the two new ones that they added just recently in the most recent patch. I'm excited about the grain hopper. All right, so let's go ahead and customize this guy right here. There we go. Let's see what kind of customization options we have on this one here. You can get the single, um, you can get the doubles pretty easily as well, B-double, Rocky Mountain, or the triples, Turnpike double. Uh, that one you can't get without a ground over oh, Nevada. I see. So let's go for the B double. That's what we see around here. And grain hopper. So no choice here. Five axles. You have a couple different choices. You can get crystal white, bravery red. Ooh, don't like that at all. Um, graphite gray. It's always a good choice. Or you can do custom colors. You can do like your metallic colors if you so desire. I think. I'm gonna stick with the, with the crystal white. And what kind of options can you put on these guys? You can put exclusive lights on the side, yes. You can change up your tires as well to your Vortex tires. I always go for the dynamic chrome wheels because I'm a sucker for chrome. There we go, Vortex, dynamic chrome. And what you can do as well is you can actually, let's see here, Get a little crazy if you want to. We want the exclusive lights once again, so people can see us coming, and so it's easy to tell when we're making a turn. Good, good, good. There and there, and on the back, <clears throat> chrome door. We want a standard door, and we want the exclusive lights or well, the regular lights. Let's go for exclusive lights, sure. And I like that. Those mud flaps are slick. Perfect. So let's go up to the front up here. We'll leave that the way it is as well. I don't think there's anything else in the front. Painted wall or chromed wall? We're gonna stick with the painted wall. Perfect. This is a $117,000 trailer. Let's go ahead and purchase this right here. And we would like to purchase that green B-double. I hope we have space in one of these. Seattle, sure. Let's go for that. Do you want to be in this B double? Yes, we'd like to purchase it. Thank you. Excellent. So that's that. And let's see. Let's go back actually. Let's check out let's just let's just take a look at the couple of customization options on here. You can get only a single, you can't get the doubles on this. You can change your axle configurations though. Drop down axle if you wish. And of course, different colors, crystal white, graphite gray. It looks pretty slick, actually. And then, of course, your normal customization options. Nice. Okay. Anyways. Yes, that's fine. We'll come back into that another time. Let's get out of here and see if we can get into that trailer. Uh, so we are looking for the green one right there. And we want to use this. Yes. Perfect. It's in our garage. Let's go take a look at it right here in person. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. I don't know. This is one I've been excited before for a long time, actually. And I, the bulk feed was not the one I was, I was thinking it was. For some reason, I was thinking it was uh, the like fuel type trailers, but the bulk feed one looks pretty good too. All right. Where is that? trailer let's go. let's go if anywhere it's going to be around the corner here let's see where it is it should be just around here usually they respawn them right around the corners I think we're okay on fuel too Is that where it is? 
Nope, apparently it's not there. Where is our trailer then? Let's do this. Uh, view service. Yes, tell me to the service, please. Assistance can take you and your truck to Seattle. It will cost 21000 and a 45-hour trip. Sure, why not? <laughs> that is ridiculous. I made that cost way, way more now. But I guess it makes sense because it's, like, it's kind of like a... It used to be super cheap just to get your truck and trailer together, but now they've made it a bit more like... Do you really want to do it? It's going to cost you twenty grand. Now, this is—I think—in that scenario, I had like the truck and trailer really far away from each other, and that's probably the reason why it costs so much. It doesn't normally cost that much, but say la vie. Because really, what you're doing is you're hiring a driver to drive the trailer down to you, so that's why it does cost quite a bit. All right, so here we are. Here is our trailer. Looks pretty slick, actually. Don't mind this truck. It's not a. That's not the Peterbilt uh, 389, but not too bad. Okay, let's take a look at the cargo market, and we are currently in Seattle, so we can take grain. That's our options, basically, just grain or pelleted animal food. No, definitely not. Um, let's see. Destination. It's a short little trip. Let's see, route length. There we go, nice little short one. Seattle to Everett. Let's take that one there. Okay, let's get this rolling here. Time to, get the job done. Time to get the job done indeed. Okay, let's close that. Okay. Lots of space here. It's funny. I trailered my. Uh, right. And then turn right. And then turn right. Really? Oh, I see. Turn right. I was like, where the heck are we going here? All right. Got a green light out now, of course. <clears throat> Anyways, I uh, got my boat trailer finally for my car. And it was uh, kind of funny. I have a little tiny like Kia Rondo, so it's like a little tiny, tiny station wagon type thing. So it was very interesting to. Uh, it was very interesting to uh, tow it, tow the trailer with my car. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Just to be aware of. Keep left and turn left. This is the most confusing exit I've ever had. All right, here we go. Turning left. Oh, I see why, because it's going here. That makes more sense now. And this is one of the truck entrances that goes through the middle. Bobtail? No, we're not bobtailing. Where's the pickup? Oh, it's way down there. I see it now. Whoa, don't drive through there. All right, so the pickup zone. Get ready to turn left. This one, this engine's not nearly as rumbly as the other engine in the other truck, truck I usually drive. And this truck is a little, I feel like, a little underpowered in comparison to what I'm used to. Okay. Cargo market. Let's go ahead and grab the green. Thank you. Uh, proceed to the loading area. And whereabouts is our loading area? Over here somewhere. Ah, there we are. Makes it easy enough, I suppose. There we go. Let's get loaded up in here. A little bit 
further. There we go. Let's stop the engine. Engine's turning off. Loading up. Now I don't know. It just says cargo's been loaded. Now the one thing that you can't see is obviously the grain in there, so that's one downfall, I suppose, but Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Parking brakes engage. Of course it is. I almost have to use a like low high or low low here. Uh, we want to turn left here because that's how we came in. So I suspect that's how we need to get out of here too. Let's go over here, nice and slow like. Don't want to rock these trailers too much. There we go. Alright. Made it difficult for myself by coming this way, apparently. Oh, that's close. Apparently, it's the front of the truck. I need to be careful about, not the back of the truck. There we go. There must have been an easier exit there. Like if I had gone straight... No, that wouldn't have let us out. Oh no, there's an exit right there. Yeah, that makes more sense now. It's like, there has to be an exit way. I'm going... I'm going in... I'm going out the inn, basically, is what's happening here. Oh well, say levy. We're making it out of here. This is the one thing that is a bit a bit bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So here's the exit. I should have been at. Should have been this side. All to all be all about to start basically. So here we go. Stop there. There we go. Can do. On the railway tracks once again. Avalanche steel. I was gonna say, I'm like, where are we going? We're going north. This is good. Yeah, I kind of miss the other truck sounds. The truck seems so tame in comparison to it. Because when you're driving the other truck, it really makes a lot of grumbles. Like a lot of louder noises. Or maybe just have the truck turned down. And that's part of it as well. Which could very well be the case. 45 kilometers around the bend here. Or miles, I should say, sorry. There we go. Take her nice and easy. I think also I increased the tippiness of the trailers of memory serves as well since last time I played. <clears throat> I think. I can't remember. Keeping left. Let's get in the left hand lane here. Do we need to go into the left lane? No. We just need to keep left. Okay, can do. Let's keep on trucking then. Reduce speed zone ahead. Use caution. Traffic slow. And yet there's not a single car on the road. <laughs> Be careful. Please mind the speed. Oh, yes. We're at 54. We should be okay. Please watch the speed. There we go. Not too bad. There's a helicopter up there. Probably checking for speeders like myself. All right. Very nice looking trailer here, though. I do like this. Just like in Farm Sim, basically. Oh, apparently we're a bit late on the delivery on this one. <laughs> Already. I mean, I just got out of the city, so... It's not super surprising. Heading in the right direction, though, which is good. 
yeah, this one when you customize it, there's not as many nice, not as many f ridiculous customizations you can make on this one versus like the Peterbilt 389 by Viper. All right, are we staying to the right? Daring Fairy, nope, I think we're okay here. Good. Oh, an unexpected, I really need to turn those down. Every time I go driving anywhere, And then usually what happens is I'll be recording and then something happens and then I'm like, ugh, really? Yeah, because watch this. Let's just go to the map and see how much off route this is going to take me. Yeah, it wants me to go into here and then the only way to go, <laughs> the only thing I can do is get off the route and then go here and then get back on the route. I don't know if there's a way to get down in here. It doesn't look like there is. Not helpful. <laughs> number of times I've run into this exact scenario. All right, we'll get out of the way, and we'll just sneak by here. There we go. Yeah, it's very inconvenient. Let's just say that. Keep right and then exit right. Especially when there's like the next exit is your exit. That's <laughs> what's so like, ugh. there for that turn. Excellent. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Only a couple minor things really. Get ready to turn right. Can do. Alright. Turn right on a red light with a trailer like this. Eee, I don't know. There we go. Gonna need to take that a bit wider there, wagon. Oh, yeah, we're clear. Luckily, no right turn. That's fine. And then on our left. Turn left. Wish you could just turn left like that, GPS. Jeez. There we go. That was actually lucky. And then we are going which way here? And up here to the left, it looks like. There's a red light up there, perfect. Nice. Need to get some like driving music in this game right now. Although the funny thing is I'm basically gonna get out of this game and then get into my car and actually drive. There we go. Oh, that's kinda of cool little truck right there. Anytime now. Go, go, go. That's a long light. They're both red, though, which is a confusing look. Red there and red there. There we go. And what's that? Gas station. Time to say goodbye to your old pal. I can't. It's a red light. Colby Avenue. There we go. Yeah. It's funny with this truck, I really need to work the gears a little bit more <laughs> than I'm used to, which is kind of funny. Go straight up. <laughs> of course. Not in a bad way, just... It's like I need, I need to actually use the low, low gear and the low, high gear, as opposed to just, you know, starting in first gear all the time. I forgot how much horsepower this truck's got. I think it's got something like 
500 and something, but it doesn't seem like the other truck that 390 tend to use all the time is like hella powerful, even with like a smaller engine. It seems like maybe it's the gear ratio. I don't know. Nope, not our turn yet. Anytime now. Come on. There we go. There we go. And our turn is up here on the left, it looks like. Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. Okay. Can do. Lots of stops here. Okay, so we're going to the port. Port to port. Get in there. There we go. All right. What do we got over here? Railway. Big old port. I feel like we shouldn't go too fast down here because we're going to make a right turn really sudden. And there is a stop sign there. A little rolling stop here. Nope, nobody's there. Okay, now we go forward somewhere. I don't know if I've ever been to this place before, actually. I think I've driven past it many times. Now it looks like our drop off is straight ahead there. That's neat. Paper pulp mill looks like almost. No trains coming. This is good. Oh, there's a drop off there. Yeah, it's 15 kilometers an hour, or miles an hour, I should say. This is one of those ones that has the flashing light. And you get close to it. Yep. Alright, sweet. Let's drop this off right here. It's all over now. Apparently. And we're just gonna... Where is this? Oh, we could probably do that. We can do that. Let's see, I think this is the flasher button here. I don't know, maybe not. There we go. That should be in there. Just about as close as I can get to it. Here we go. And there we go. Stop there. Park and brake. Shut her down. Unload the trailer. 54 miles. Nice. Traveling maneuvering bonus. Oh my gosh, right. We did do a maneuvering bonus now. And then from here, you can take some other job offers, which is going to be probably green again, I imagine. Yep. Sweet. Well, there you go. There is the new green trailer they added to the game in the recent patch. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more ATS action. I'll catch you guys later.